If you want to be a data analyst, you need to know how to complete an ad hoc data request. In this video, I'll tell you about what an ad hoc data request is, I'll give you a few examples, as well as a few best practices. If you're on a journey to become a data analyst, you've probably seen the term ad hoc data request in a bunch of job descriptions, and you may not even know what that means. An ad hoc data request is a one-time unplanned request for data analysis or reporting that isn't a part of ongoing reporting and is usually presented with some urgency. Usually an ad hoc data request starts with a stakeholder asking you for some data, and depending on the urgency, they may want this data tomorrow, next week, or end of next week based on my experience. And finally, this kind of request usually isn't gonna have some kind of long-term solution like a dashboard. Often you'll just be getting the data from somewhere and then maybe throwing together a couple tables or charts in Excel, and maybe an occasional PowerPoint slide. Now that we know what an ad hoc data request is, let's go through an example. Whenever I worked as a data analyst in a pharmacy, a stakeholder might come to me and say, hey, I have a meeting next Wednesday on this drug. Would you mind to pull some data for me on this drug year to date? Now, using the example I just laid out, here's how I would go about doing this. The first thing you'll do as a part of any data request is ask some questions to gain some clarity. Some questions I might ask here are, when do you need this data by? Are you looking for month to month data? Are you looking for data based on when the drug was prescribed or shipped? And do you want some visuals to showcase this data? Let's say that the stakeholder wants overall volume data presented month to month, and they do want a visual so that way the trends are easily identifiable. Now we need to get the data from somewhere. And before you run off and go write a brand new SQL query, see first if you can get the data somewhere quicker. Can you pull that data from an existing dashboard? Is there an existing SQL query that you can modify to get the data? The key here is you do not want to create extra work for yourself. Let's say that we were able to use an existing query and we were able to pull the data into an Excel file. Now that I have all of the data together, I'm gonna put together a pivot table so that way I can see the raw numbers month over month. And then I'm gonna create a line chart as well as a column chart so that way the stakeholder has a couple of different options based on how they wanna visualize the data based on kind of what helps the meeting the most. Finally, I would email the stakeholder, I would share what I found, I would attach the Excel, and then usually I'll say something nice like, let me know if you need anything else, let me know if this answered your question, so that way if I misunderstood something, I have a chance to correct that. Now that we've gone through an example, let's talk about a few best practices for ad hoc data requests. First, don't make extra work for yourself. The first thing that we did in this example was ask all of the right questions, that way we could clarify the request and make sure that we're not doing the wrong work and wasting time. If we hadn't done this and we didn't understand the data request fully, that could have led to us doing the request wrong and then having to do it all over again, wasting a ton of time. And then the other thing we did to not create extra work for ourselves is we were able to reuse an existing SQL query. Doing something like modifying an existing query or pulling the data from an existing dashboard saves us a lot of time writing code, so that way we can save as much time as possible. Second, you wanna make sure you understand when the data is really due. You might have a stakeholder that doesn't understand how hard it is to put this data together, and they may ask for the data at the end of the day. But once you talk to the stakeholder, you may find out that they don't need the data for two more weeks. And remember, you have a lot of other work that you're doing as a data analyst that you have to balance with ad hoc requests. So it's really important to understand your deadlines, so that way you're able to prioritize your work as good as you can. Third, you need to identify trends in your ad hoc data reporting in case you need to build or automate something to save time. You might notice that you get a similar data request once a month or maybe even once a week, and this could be a good signal that you need to do something like building a self-refreshing dashboard so that way the stakeholder can go in and pull their data anytime that they need, saving time for you to work on your other data reports and analysis that you're working on. Finally, number four, you need to understand the scope of the request. A lot of ad hoc data requests will be just as simple as the example we went through, but literally just a couple of months ago, I had an ad hoc request that required a complex SQL query as well as a lot of analysis in Excel. And it's really important to understand this scope before that you give the deadline to the stakeholder. So you don't wanna say, sure, I'll have this to you by tomorrow. But then once you dig into the data, you're like, 
I have five days of work. I'm gonna have to stay up all night to get this done on time by the time I said. So if you're working on something that's kind of new to you, you wanna be careful when you give that deadline so that way you're not making promises that you can't deliver on. Anyway, I hope this video cleared some things up about ad hoc data requests. I know whenever I first got into analytics, I kept seeing that term everywhere and I was like, what the heck does this mean? And I hope this video helps you and would be a video that would have helped me back in the day. And if you wanna become a great data analyst. I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best data analyst that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.